into Red Room. Hello, 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 it's Tony. So I am going to do this video and it's about my hair. So my hair is pulled back. It's in a bun, whatever. My hair, this part of the hair just doesn't. I have such a wonky hairline and whatnot. <laughs> it's just kind of funny. And I clowned this shit out myself because it was like, all these fingers could fit here and you know, like hairlines and shit like that. And I, I just make fun of myself. Um, so I went natural 10 years ago, like junior year of like high school. So over 10 years ago, really, cause it would have been 2010. So like 13 years ago. Um, yeah, basically 13 years ago. Cause I did it before prom, like slightly before prom. Wasn't the best thought, but you know, whatever. Um, and I wish, I'll do another video on that. Anyway, so I did it before prom. I grew it out. I did it again before prom. <laughs> Cut it. And I've been growing my hair, cutting my hair off and on for like the last 13 years. So I've been natural for 13 years. Essentially, my hair, if it were allowed to grow longer, probably would be like mid-back-ish. Anyway, I decided to let my hair grow back again. You don't see it when looking at me head on right here, but I decided this. Um, so it's long enough now to put up and put up where the back isn't like all falling down and have to now be pinned up like it legit can be put up and um on a spiritual tip i like longer hair um nothing wrong with short hair nothing wrong with women with short hair i just find something very spiritual for me having long hair having the patience to sit there grow hair out um, having the patience to sit there and figure my hair out, figure my routine, figure out what's going on. That's a lot for me. Um, also, because I have PCOS, because I have like all of these kind of like issues in that direction, growing my hair out kind of does help me tap into my femininity a little bit more. I feel a lot more feminine in that way. Um, I do associate longer hair with femininity. I know some people get annoyed by that or they feel like that's kind of like sexist or misogynistic. It's just, I like, I like longer hair, like particularly for myself. I like longer hair on people in general. Um, and not because, oh, you have to prove beauty, but I just like, when you have longer hair, you tend to be able to see your texture better. You tend to be able to see a lot. Um, Unless you have like straighter hair or hair that gets weighed down a lot, then like obviously it goes to shit. But in general for me, I feel like a lot of people, hold on, cause this starts to get weird these days. Hold on. <laughs> Sorry about that. My computer is acting strange. I, it needs to get prepared, but I think what's happening is because of this injury <laughs> to the to the laptop it needs like it, it needs to, uh it can't be like just right up against services i need to find my like laptop thing because i could have sworn i had like one that was good for that anyway hair so for me i just like longer hair or whatever um on myself i like seeing it in the world i don't know i like longer hair um i don't think you're trying to push against society when you get shorter hair or you chop your hair off particularly as a woman but i do think sometimes people make statements of short hair when it's just like if you really want to just keep longer hair just keep it like you don't need to prove your defiance of femininity or your defiance of womanhood or pushing the boundary of what you think a woman could be by chopping your hair off i kind of feel like people kind of go in that direction with chopping their hair off or having shorter hair and it's just like why um why like just do the hairstyle that you like for me i just kept chopping it off because i kept getting frustrated with it and there's that and then when i finally figured out what i needed to do with my hair then i kind of like evened out and i got like better <laughs> now um i decided for more spiritual reasons to not have my hair just in a fro and the reason why is because i kind of feel like um energetically i don't know i just it's something about my hair being out like that that like 
it just energetically picks up on a lot of negativity and a lot of just ickiness. So I decided to pull my hair back and I decided to wash my hair more frequently. So I usually wash it every week or so. Uh, right now, because I pulled it back, it's a lot more easy to manage. So I can go two weeks. But there's something about spiritually maintaining that sort of hygiene when it comes to your um, your hair. I notice when I do my like put my hair in a style where like it's particularly the crown is open energetically. I kind of feel like a lot more, um, and. I just feel like it's easier to maintain like this and I like it so I'm growing into myself when it comes to my hair my hair is something that I really enjoy about myself I really like my hair I really like um, that it's growing I really like that it's a spiritual center for me and I do feel like as I get longer grow longer hair it may develop into locks may not develop into locks I don't see myself for who I am right now and where I want to go cutting my hair off um I did have like slight scary visions of people being envious for some reason and I don't know why because my hair is not like ooh, ooh. I like it but you know um cutting hair or trying to attempt to cut hair um and I think that is getting into the more spiritual side of me um culturally it's not like deeply inverted in the culture that I come from but hair people touching your hair people doing your hair cutting your hair saving your hair um, depending on what branch of African American is you come from they're really like big on that I know for black people in general but particularly African Americans I know if you're raised a certain way um, you don't let anybody really just touch your hair, like just anybody touch your hair. You don't let anybody like hands in the hair. I know that comes up more about like race curiosity and like hair curiosity by people outside of blackness. Um, <clears throat> but on a spiritual component, you just don't let people touch your hair. And people don't necessarily explicitly say spiritually, but the older I get, the more that I know it is spiritually <laughs> that you just don't want to know everybody touching your hair also it's just like dirty like where has your hand been um but spiritually you just don't want people to touch your hair particularly like a very energetic center like your crown nah like that's just not and that's probably also another reason why i'm pulling it back because this kind of serves a little bit of protection of that crown but um yeah is that another thing when it comes to my hair is that i um well i've been graying and i have like one here right little one here and i have two over here so it's like one here and then one like back there somewhere yeah somewhere in there so um there is a history of graying in my family so i personally am okay with it i don't find that i'm necessarily nutritionally deficient although i would have to test myself to see um, but I am open to graying. I am not opposed to any pattern graying or anything like that. I, you know, for me, I don't want to wake up and be all gray, but like this idea that like I'm ashamed of graying is kind of like not there. Um, I do know people, not necessarily personally, but I did know people like in in like high school particularly there was one girl she grayed like early um but she had more streaks and i find that streaking is kind of like okay like the street you know the gray streaks and stuff like that i actually like that that's really cool a lot of people are really opposed to it they're really opposed to graying they're really opposing to looking old and it's just like your mindset is old as shit so you'll you'll be elderly way before way before that you know you're graying now but you've been like 80 for like 20 years so what the hell is the point but i am in a new phase of my life with my hair i really enjoy my hair i really enjoy where it's going i enjoy the growth that i see i enjoy 
the weirdness of my hair like my hairline tells me where I am it tells me I sleep on this side more and that you know um, it's a lot that I am encapsulating in my hair so I personally enjoy my hair I personally enjoy graying I'm okay with it um, I found new products that I like to try I've tried new products and I found what works hair tools and stuff like that trimming stuff like that um, it's a self-discovery that I am really on and I really love so that's it those are my like perspectives on it or whatever and I'll talk to you guys later bye